The shading procedure Ambient Occlusion is appearing in Cinema 4D in two ways. Either as a global render effect in the Render Settings menu or as a shader available in the Effect Shaders drop-down menu. And the purpose of Ambient Occlusion is, as we know, um, the calculation of areas where objects are occluding themselves. So within a definable radius ambient occlusion is sampling its uh, environment for occlusions from other objects or obstacles and is darkening uh, the relevant area. So um, it appears there is a diffuse shadow or maybe dirt going on in these sampled areas. So the proper way to use ambient occlusion as a shader is the, fu the diffusion channel, of course. So with release 18, we have an interesting new option in ambient occlusion because the classical way of sampling ambient occlusion is doing it on the outside in the direction of the surface normals. So occlusions can be detected on the outside of objects. So with the new option of invert direction, we now can define that the sampling of occlusion is going on on the inside of the object, sampling where it is occluding itself on the inside. And that is an effect that mostly takes place in corners, maybe. So let's activate the luminous channel. I already prepared something for you. Deactivate the diffusion channel. And inside the luminance channel of my object's materials, I have applied an ambient occlusion shader from the Effect Shaders menu. And I only um, defined a color, a random color more or less. I inverted my uh, gradient here and I uh, activated Invert Direction. Let's see how this behaves while rendering. So what's now happening is that the ambient occlusion um, calculation is taking place on the opposite side of the normal direction, on the inside of the object. So um, that takes place in corners and uh, the objects are occluding themselves in corners. Um, so when I define um, a color black gradient instead the classical black-white gradient I get the effect of, let's say, illuminating my corners when I use an inverted ambient occlusion with invert direction in the luminous channel of my object. So, to put it in a nutshell, ambient occlusion in the classical way samples on the outside in the direction of the surface normal. With the brand new R18 option of invert direction, ambient occlusion samples on the inside of an object looking up where it occludes itself.